It is National Learn About Butterflies Day. Oh. That came out. Try saying that 10 times fast. National Learn About Butterflies Day. There we go. And here to teach us about these incredible creatures, we have Chris Hartley from the Sophia M. Sachs Butterfly House. Mm -hmm. Chris, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for having us back. Oh my gosh, I love when you guys come on. You always teach me something new and what a gem and really a treat to be able to go to the Sophia M. Sachs mm -hmm. Butterfly House right here in our community. Tell us a little bit about how you guys are educating our community. Absolutely. Butterflies. So you, everyone can see the beauty of butterflies. It's a lot of people's very favorite insect or bug, and the Butterfly House is one of the best places in St. Louis, because today, of course, is also 314 Day, right? St. Louis Attractions got to represent. So. This is a fan and, favorite, which is so true, that's Chris. That's right, and we <laughs> uh, strive to be everyone's butterfly go-to resource. I love that. Okay, well, when it, when it comes to butterflies, I mean, what are some things that people are coming in and learning about these incredible insects? Right, well, one thing is that many people don't realize that our butterflies are tropical. Ooh. Of all of these butterflies, only two could be found in your backyard. Mm -hmm. This one brown with the spots and this little guy. Oh, Everything wow. else in there is from some other country all around the world. That's where all butterflies come from. Oh my gosh, and see, I had no idea that butterflies are actually tropical creatures. All around the world. Nice, that yep. is pretty cool. What are some other things that we're teaching people about butterflies? So butterflies are very important pollinators, mm -hmm. and it's actually very easy to attract your local butterflies to your garden by planting nectar and host plants. Okay, right? I like that. But also, a lot of people don't realize that our butterflies get mailed to us. So here is a shipping box that they came in. What? So how many butterflies would you think fit into that box? Oh gosh, 20? More than that. 50? Typically it's three to 400. But oh my don't, God. don't picture these poor little creatures shoved uh -huh. in there. They come okay. in their chrysalis stage. Ah, right. So right that's here, how you guys get so many Right in there. here I have the shed skin of a chrysalis. Would you like to hold it? Oh, sure. So there's this no, is the cocoon. there's no animal there anymore. That's just its skin that was left behind. Wow. That's the only way I could bring it out of our butterfly house, right? The life cycle of a butterfly right yeah. here. Oh my gosh. So those were in this box, mm -hmm. in smaller boxes, and that's how we get about 400 creatures chrysalids into a box. Oh my gosh, that is pretty neat. Yeah. So when you guys get these chrysalids, then what happens? Do we just wait for the life cycle to continue? So there's no reproduction of butterflies at our butterfly house. Okay. Actually. So I was mentioning how you can attract them to your home by putting the right plant. Usually we call that a host plant and every butterfly will only lay eggs on one kind of plant. And in our butterfly house, we're just not growing their host plants. Okay, so they just come in, they come out mm -hmm. and voila. And then we get another box like this and it repeats over and over again. Oh my gosh, so yeah. much fun. What do you think is your favorite part about working at the Butterfly House? Um, the favorite thing that I like is seeing people just ooh and ah when they mm -hmm. walk into the conservatory, especially people who have never been there before because there's a thousand butterflies flying all around you. Oh my gosh, and it really is such a cool and unique experience mm -hmm. to see the joy on children's faces right. and on their parents' faces mm -hmm. or grandparents' faces. Yes. I mean, butterflies just make you happy. They do, absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much fun. Well, a lot of things happening at the Butterfly House St. Louis. What else can people see when they take a visit to the Butterfly House? So, if you want to know more about the story of our butterflies and see a little bit of the tropics yourself, we have an event called Rainforest Revel coming up Ooh, next week. It's exciting. a happy hour. Okay. There's going to be food and drinks. So definitely check our website for details on that. Okay, count me in and sign me up. It's butterflies, it's food, it's mm -hmm. drinks in St. Louis. You can experience it on Friday, March 22nd, 5.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. Of course, adult beverages will be there, so it is for guests 21 and over. Mm -hmm. But you can find out more details online at butterflyhouse.org. And since spring break is coming up, we wanted to remind you it's the perfect place to stop in and take your little ones to keep them busy. Again, you can find the Sophia M. Sachs Butterfly House on Facebook, on Instagram, or you can simply pick up the phone and give them a call, 314-577-0888. Chris, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And happy National Learn About Butterflies mm -hmm. Day. <laughs> mm -hmm.